What up, guys? T Max Eggs here, bringing you what's cracking number 48. Today we are here with. <laughs> Kuda! Uh, Don't fucking interrupt me. Kuda why boy. not? It's sweet luck, yeah. <laughs> uh, and your host, Gangster Prankster. And they were listening to. Uh... Why don't you just tell them? Tell them what you're fucking Kuda doing. Kuda was listening to a girl sweet peeing luck. in a toilet. Found me the sound Bible, and it, it randomly gives you a bunch of different sounds, and that was one of them. You can't see that and not click on it. All right? A girl peeing. <laughs> A slug moving. Yeah, the slug moving, that's probably one of my favorites. The double heartbeats, I'm pretty sure I almost had a fucking heart attack. <laughs> but that's the magic of the internet, right? There's just so much stuff on it. But there's also a lot of bad stuff on it. It's actually a great transition as the opening topic. Um, so the internet. Dangerous place filled with crazy fucking people. Mm-hmm. Mm. One came to light recently. Uh, a girl about fifteen or sixteen. Don't talk about it. We are. We're talking oh about it. We're gonna God. talk about her boyfriend, quote unquote. We're gonna. Yeah. Let's start off. So right. this girl, Giovanna Giovanna Plowman, is the newest internet sensation for pulling out her bloody tampon and sucking on it. That's that dinner, bro. I'm enjoying an after dinner, you know, drink. <laughs> And now I don't want it anymore. Is it a Bloody right? Mary? Ah. Uh, <laughs> uh, extra blood. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Not very appetizing. <laughs> or it was tea and he had the actual tea bag in it and now he no longer wants it in it. So a girl Ugh. pulls out her bloody tampon, sucks it. Gets tons okay. of fucking hits. <laughs> <laughs> okay, oh. I'm not going to mention it anymore. No, it's good. It's just I, I choked on this pistachio. Mm-hmm. Okay, that was, pistachio. Whatever. Anyways. Yeah, thinking about the next subject. Or her boyfriend. Whatever. So, what are your thoughts on this girl being the newest internet sensation for doing what she did? I don't care what she did, but we gotta find somebody willing to do something even grosser and put it on our channel. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. We found somebody. So we can get it shut down? Ah, so we can be famous for gross and video games. All right? Awesome. <laughs> Did her channel get shut down for that? No, but I'm assuming you can't find the video as easily as before. Hmm. Well, it's probably um, uploads. Uh, like, here we go. Let's go on a scavenger hunt. <laughs> we'll find it and watch it. Why is this well, to the girl pee? Keep talking. I'm gonna see all you have to do is just type bloody tampon. They'll probably pop up. But, yeah, yep, there it is. Off. So she sucked on it. That, that's not the thing that bothers me. The thing that oh bothers no, me. there's a man eating one. Oh, I'm not fucking. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not going down that route. All right, keep going. Sorry. Is that the, many people you can find? The thing that bothers me. She got a bunch of outlash, and then the people sticking up for her, saying she's an inspiration. That <laughs> me. People really said that about her. Fucking mind blown. Yes. My generation is so screwed. It's unbelievable. Yeah. Oh, God. Yep, it is. I totally believe it. It's the person that is educating our generation, or your generation. <laughs> yep. We're kind of the same generation, Kuda. Uh, no, I like to think I'm one generation past. Like, as soon as my generation went by. Nope, yeah, because like, my health teacher said both of us were in the same health generation. He's about your age. Oh, what the fuck ever. <laughs> your health teacher's full of shit, anyway. That's why she's <laughs> a health teacher. <laughs> so is this girl an inspiration to people? Mm. Uh, to idiots, maybe. She the voice of a generation. No. <laughs> Do not of. let her speak for my generation. She yeah, can't I talk she... with a mouthful. <laughs> you sure? Did she try? <laughs> she probably, oh, 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 that was nasty. <laughs> That's probably her reaction. Oh my god, I, I thought we were so. done talking about this and you just bring it up. Alright, next subject, her boyfriend. Yeah, I know, I was like, I'm tired of it. Her boyfriend. You wanna get into that, Gangster? Uh, it's being rumored that her boyfriend did something equally, if not more gross. He took a dump and ate it. And there was a guy who actually did that. I searched that up and then, yeah, he did it. <laughs> uh, I don't even want to talk about it. Like, like I searched up on uh, World Star Hip Hop. And then I skipped the very end of the video, and he was, like, throwing up. I was like, yeah, he did it. Mm. Oh. Didn't she try to kill herself, too, or she pretended to? And she then... pretended to kill herself. She said if oh, I, she said on Twitter, if I, this gets 10,000 retweets, uh, I'll leave, you know, the internet. And she got 10, she got 11,000 within 20 minutes. 
Mm-hmm. And uh, so, it, she, you know, she's come out and said, you know, she just wants to do it for the attention and the publicity. Well, that's not going to last too much longer. So I think it's pretty much dead now. Well, you might want to talk about that. So. I'm just talking about how the internet's fucked up place, and it seems like oh. every fucking week there's someone or something, fucking Gungam style, Rebecca Black, tampon yeah. girl. That black guy dancing I sent y'all today. That's We're not viral. Yeah, that's not, that's not on the internet. <laughs> ding dong, oh. metal ding dong. That was pretty good. <laughs> that was hilarious. Interpretive yeah. dance, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> The internet is a wasteland <laughs> of... It's just a wasteland, man. It's just a fucking well, wasteland. Good thing there's, you know, an oasis in the distance. Your <laughs> salvation, t max Sigs. With salvation. That's yes. Cool. So nothing else to say on this chick? Should, should... No, I want her to actually crawl up in a hole and fucking... Just... Have you seen I don't it? want to die. No, I don't want to. She's got nice boobs. As a How old is she, gangster? I can't say she has nice boobs. Nah, I'm just asking how old she is. I can't oh ask God, how old yeah. she is. You just go up to a 15 year old girl and just be like, "Hey, I think she's, I think she's 16." <laughs> you can't be like, "Roses are red, violets blue." I suck up, pick up lines. You have nice tits. You can't do that. <laughs> I wouldn't say that. I'm just oh, saying, but... she is very developed for her age group. Mm. Kind of like that uh, kindergarten or however old where the school suggested getting boob reductions. I don't remember that shit, but I don't. I, I believe it. That. I believe it. A lot of fucked up shit in the world. It's just crazy. Yep. You wanted before we just used to not know about it, but now the fucking internet. Yeah, you learn about every little dumb Can't thing that happens. Help here. That uh, thing I showed a bit in Africa, the fucking car, the anti hijack. Oh my god, that's so awesome. <laughs> So oh, in Africa, if you buy a BMW car, you can get this anti-theft kit. <laughs> what they do is they line up propane around the bottom of your car. And uh, if you're in the car and someone pulls a gun on you, you can set off your fucking flamethrowers on the <laughs> side. I'll link the video in the description because it's actually pretty interesting to watch. Yeah, It is crazy. Africa, oh, yeah. what a great place. Who wants I mean, to go? It's already hot there. Jeez. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, they have these. It's so hot. You see their tans. Like, the sun is just pounding down on them. <laughs> <laughs> is that a good joke? I don't even know. That's racist as No, well. you just <laughs> stop talking. Next topic. Jeez. There's no ill intent. It was just a joke. <laughs> um, next topic, I guess we'll jump into game <laughs> stuff. Um, some, some salvation. So many moons ago, we talked about Scott Pilgrim getting online DLC. Many moons ago, like we live in a post-apocalyptic world where we've yes. never heard of a calendar. Gotcha. Fucking, yeah. like, it was, it's not days, not weeks. It's like, it's been many a Many full moons. Nice. Wait, that means months. <laughs> you could just say months. No, many moons. Uh, what is that strange word you speak of? Trying to sound all mystical and shit. Many yeah. moons ago. <laughs> Sorry. Go. In a different galaxy far, far away. Um... So, there's rumors about Scott Pilgrim getting online and another playable character. And then we waited. And we waited a little bit more. And then nothing happened. And then it was rumored that it was cancelled. And now it seems that it's not cancelled because Major Nelson, uh, he's some guy that works at Xbox. He puts out, like, the store updates and what people can expect. And he posted a release date for the add-on for February 6th, which includes a playable character and the online multiplayer. It's listed at 160 Microsoft points, which is $2. And But it's not the first time he's posted a release date for the DLC, so could this finally be the DLC? I hope to God. Like, come on. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. That'd be, it's, it's a fun-ass game, and I can't wait to see what it's like multiplayer. So, so, if it is true, we should be getting it next week. Awesome. Which would be fucking amazing. Mm-hmm. Can't wait for this week to finish. What the fuck was that? <clears throat> you can't... I finished my drink. I got, I got my first on a girl, drink. sucking it down. Shut it's... up! I'm about to throw it up, dude. Jeez. Slurp it up. <laughs> <laughs> Nice and juicy. You have tomato soup for dinner? 
No. I hate tomato soup, so. What'd you have? The soup soup. <laughs> the wet kind? Yeah. Was it like chunks of anything? Mm, nope. <laughs> Blood clots. <laughs> <coughs> <laughs> Really simple soup. All right. Anyway, um. Scott Pilgrim DLC. Hopefully next week. Oh, yeah. we'll definitely see videos of this because we've been waiting for a while to do this game because it's a lot of fun. One, it's a fucking blast. It's uh, I'd say it's like, actually, I wouldn't even compare it to that. I was gonna say like Borderland side scroller because it's like crazy like that. <laughs> yeah, it's not. No. It's not that crazy. It's pretty crazy. It's Castle Crashers, so... Yeah, it's like Castle Crashers, if anything. It's like, if if people were to say, you know, I like Castle Crashers, what's another game you should suggest? I'd probably go with Scott Pilgrim. Yeah. Only thing definitely. it's missing, online co-op. Now that they're getting that, hopefully, um, that'd be amazing. So. Yeah. Uh, next, do you want to play The Last of Us early? <gasps> Are you talking about the demo or the whole thing? Oh, you kind of ruined it then. The demo. Damn it! Oh, God. <laughs> you got me excited! Shit! <laughs> Alright, the whole thing. <laughs> oh, yeah! <laughs> have to wait till May, but if you want to play a little sample of that and play the demo, <laughs> you're in luck! All you have yeah. to do is buy God of War Ascension. Yeah, I knew that. Oh, dick. Got me excited. <laughs> and uh, it is unknown if it'll be made available to other PlayStation players. But some other information popped up about The Last of Us. Uh, some rush special editions for The Last of Us. Uh, there's two of them. One is called the Survival Edition and the Post-Pandemic Edition. Both will come out with the game May 7th. So in the Survival Edition, it's $79.99. You get a 170-page art book. You get a the number one issue of the comic book, which explores Ellie's backstory and comes with a variant cover. You get a steel game case with the game. You get a Sights and Sounds DLC, a dyna- dynamic theme, a soundtrack, PSN avatars, and Naughty Dog Chrome stickers. I don't know what that is. But... Stickers! Woo! I know, dude. I haven't used all my Best part. stickers yet. <laughs> Jesus, that's fucking yeah. crazy. And um, so that's the seventy nine ninety nine. That's the survival edition. The post pandemic edition, which is one hundred and fifty nine ninety nine, oh only gosh. available at GameStop. You get everything in the survival edition except the art book. The art book is exclusive to the survival. What? Edition. That's retarded. What bullshit is that? Oh but my God. instead, you get a twelve inch statue. And you get a survival DLC pack that includes multiplayer bonuses and bonus Joel and Ellie skins once the single player is completed. So basically for another, I don't know, 80 bucks, you get a statue and DLC. Yeah. And minus the art book. That's 170 pages. Does it come in a giant fucking coffin or some shit? Like, what the fuck? Did you get the Little Big Planet 2 special edition? No. Oh, well, it looks like the same size as that box. It's probably going to be bigger because there's a statue. And you don't get the art book. Yeah. What the fuck? It'd be better just to get the other one, and then it'd be cheaper for the DLC, just minus the statue. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I was going to get the big one. I'm like, I can't wait to see what's in it, and you just killed it for me right here. <laughs> oh, well, you should have said, hey, I don't want to know. Hey, we saved you money, Kuda. Yeah. Yeah, you did. Thank God for that. Double the price for a fucking statue. Better be made of solid goddamn gold. <laughs> <sighs> That's the biggies edition. Joel and Ellie just looking at each other. <clears throat> yeah, that or the DLC better be fucking awesome, amazing, never released to anybody else who didn't get the 150 fucking dollar <laughs> edition because that's... Oh my god, that's fucking ridiculous. Well, that was like multiplayer DLC, so if you plan on playing the multiplayer. And there's the skins, which I don't think will be that amazing. I'm glad they have multiplayer, though. I don't. I didn't remember if they had announced it or not, but that's cool. Talked about like, what's crack and doofus? Yeah, I'm like half here when we're doing what's cracking anyway, so... <laughs> That's fucked up. Yeah, but half of me is like better than all of you know everybody else. So I'm, you're lucky to have that much. <laughs> Are you getting the survival edition or post pandemic? Yeah, I'll probably get the survival edition. Fucking statue and DLC for seventy extra bucks. Fuck that shit. So you really want this fucking art book? 
Well, it's not the it's just the art. It comes with the art book, soundtrack, everything else, dude, which is pretty fucking good. Steel case. I don't get the point of steel case. It's just a different case. All right. Collector's item. You know, I could survive. It makes you better than everybody else who didn't get the steel case. We look. Congrats! You paid an extra twenty bucks <laughs> for it. Dude, you give me a soundtrack. There alone is twenty bucks. Then you get everything else: stickers, hundred fifty page art book. Holy 70. shit! Seventy. Seventy. Whatever. Hundred and seventy. Oh, 170. Whatever. 100 and fucking 200. 150 right? for the post pandemic thing. Let's call it a 200 dollar or 200 page art book, right? Let's round up. <laughs> well, if you add the comic, yeah, probably. Be that's a lot of pictures. And a comic. Holy shit. That's a lot for 70 bucks. Like, I would expect to get that bucks. for like maybe Or whatever. Ah, fucking numbers, all right? <laughs> <laughs> God. I I'm would right, expect Kuda. to pay like premium for that more than whatever they're charging for. Yeah. And that's that's a pretty legit SDL. I'm gonna have to go put that on reserve. And you said May? May seventh. Oh god. It's only really coming, coming up. Way, could I? Yeah, a lot oh, of good it doesn't matter how up. far away it is. I might be fucking in Japan. So. Gotta make up for yeah. the lackluster year last year. I guess, yeah. I uh, how many games did I buy last year? Maybe like four? Four <laughs> new to... ones at least. Orphans, <sighs> WWE. What else came out? Far Cry. A little bit of plant carding. Oh, fuck that game. <laughs> I know. Uh, you get for what, $20 Oh, PlayStation All-Stars. Yeah, I got like four or five games. That was a... I got like 30. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> like day one? Like kind of stuff? Uh, no, nah, maybe not day one, but... I got maybe like 20 day one games. You're a hoarder. Jesus. A lot I can only afford like four a year. Oh, uh, well, that's why I have one about a thousand, and, yeah, you know. <laughs> yeah. Whatever. All right, next, next topic. Uh, next, another company filing for bankruptcy. Atari Inc. has announced it has filed for Chapter 11 protection as the company attempts to move away from its parent company, Francis Atari S.A., whatever. Uh, as part of the filing, Atari has revealed it's considering the option of selling off assets, including the iconic logo, and a variety of classic franchises. Hmm. Hmm. Well. <laughs> what did What's Atari the make? They make yeah, so, yeah, they started off with the console, the Atari. That's like the iconic S. Just... Was that the first ever console? Or... No, the first ever console was the Magnavox Odyssey. Oh, which... I was thinking of the, the Commodore. Nah, this Magnavox Odyssey came out before all, all of them, bro. It basically had a light on your screen that you could control, and you had to put different pieces of plastic on the screen that had maps, and like one would be like a tennis table and all this other stuff. You had to actually put it on your TV. It was really fucking weird. And no, the Atari was like the first mainstream home console, though, that, that was. And what brought. games did they develop? Uh, Pong. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the infamous E.T. Oh, which, the worst game ever? Yeah. Um, trying to think of more mainstream shit. I think it had, like, Joust and, like, uh, all of this fucking old iconic games. Defender, uh, Pitfall. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Just old school fucking classic games. And then since then, they really hadn't done much. Like, they produced games every once in a while. Like, I think uh, the Dragon Ball Z Budokai series was published by Atari, but I don't think they do that anymore. Yeah, I don't know. I couldn't tell you what they've done recently. <laughs> like, this isn't a big shot. around. Yeah, they've been in the backdrops of gaming history for a long time, so. They're, like, old school. Like, they made games in the 80s, like. Yeah, so did Nintendo, but they made games, like, the early 80s <laughs> so uh, yeah i'm looking that, at atari made paperboy <clears throat> there you go there's a good one paperboy star wars gravatar oh dude they made games for like all types of movie franchises and they were just as terrible as most games based off of movie franchises are now so what's pole position oh it's Stripper. a racing game oh. no it's Sounds a racing <laughs> gay and it's seductive. a racing game no pole position means like uh first on the starting line of a race like, because, you know, they can't all start at the starting line. They got to... Sometimes they can't. Sometimes they can't. Oh, yeah. When they can't, you're you're shooting for pole position. I think it's, like, first. How first do you decide that? Uh, they race beforehand. Oh, that's what the... Okay. Yeah. yeah. 
<laughs> they race four in first place, gets to start off right off the line. <laughs> yeah, I'm not seeing anything like any games that are standing out to me. Yeah, the only thing I can do, I can tell you that I remember, is Dragon Ball Z Budokai series. I'm pretty sure that was Atari. That's not even on the list here. Yeah, but I'm I don't looking think at our Atari arcade games. So. Yeah, no, I think it was Atari published like stuff. So I don't even think they like made it though. It was just published by them. I don't know. <laughs> it's, you gonna put your bid in for the logo? It's a pretty kick-ass logo, but you wanted the yeah, fucking it's... Q and THQ. Why don't you take an A? Yeah, dude, I wanted the Q, man. Stick a U where it belongs, right? <laughs> All by itself without a fucking U. It's fucked up. Can't oh, just man. change the alphabet. No, no, they can't, dude. They fucking tried to. Uh, next, Sony has come out and said it will let Microsoft make the first move when it comes to uh, next generation consoles. That dumb well, fucking move, Sony. They say, why go first when your competitors can look at your specifications and come up with something better? Oh my god, but guess what they did during this generation? They let Xbox 360 come out first, they made PlayStation better, but guess what? It sold worse, so... It's because they came, what, a year later, too? I don't think it was a full year, It just needs to be, like, a little bit later. It was just... Oh my god, it was... It was enough time to put Xbox in the lead, and then people didn't... People don't like to wait, so... (laughs) Yeah. It just needs to be, like, a month later they come out with it. Yeah, no, I'm tired of Xbox getting everything first, even the next generation of fucking consoles. So Sony just, yeah, Japan has a pretty messed up and old school business like uh, model, and it's not translating well to English. No, no, just I mean to like the American business. Yeah, I was talking about languages, talking about countries, and just yeah, issues. Whatever. It's that's a dumb fucking move, I think. So. Uh, and it's. Being reported, like, specs have been leaked for the new Microsoft console and the PlayStation console. So, I'm looking at this Microsoft one. It looks good. I don't know what the fuck any of this shit means. I'll link it. Maybe some <laughs> High the, numbers. Well, obviously good. Pull out yeah, your fucking like, decoders. <laughs> yeah, link me, link me. All right. um, the only thing I can see here, USB 3.0. I had that on my laptop. Worked very well. I recommend it. <laughs> Oh, I highly recommend that 3.0 <laughs> USB slot. Uh, fucking legit shit right, right there. The HDMI, bro. the controllers. You can scroll down for like CPU, GPU, storage memory. Gigabyte. So it's going to have a gigabyte external? Or that's where you could plug it in? Eight CPU cores, is that good? Yeah, that's what I got. Amazing. Yeah, that's what I got on my computer. Damn, so your oh, laptop is better than the next Xbox. Uh, Yeah, our laptop's fucking amazing, so... Uh, you can't group yourself in with this show. Does that have two HDMI? Oh, that's HDMI in and out. Okay. Uh, 50 gigabyte. <laughs> that's a thing for the Kinect. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> all that shit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You got to integrate yeah. it. You know PS4 is going to have some sort of move capability. It's going to be built in. Or you're going to get a bundle package. Or they're going to wait a year and then make you pay even more. <laughs> hold on. I'm about to check out the specs. All right. Hold on. Oh, man. And then, uh... Wow. My, our computers have a better pro, uh, CPU than the Xbox next generation. They have an 8-core. <laughs> it's 1.6 gigahertz. And my computer is a 2.3 gigahertz. These are yeah, dude, we have an hard. Ivy Bridge, right? Our shit's, like, fucking brand new. So. These are rumors. <laughs> this isn't the final product. Uh, being reported for the PS4, uh, the console will feature a Blu-ray, of course, a 160-gigabyte hard drive, a 2.2-gigabyte me- video memory, and, um, what else? It better have more than 160 gigs. Yeah, I was about to say, that's not, like, a lot. <laughs> Hopefully that's just, I mean, like, the base. You can get bigger. Eight gig I better eight. be able to move my old PlayStation 1 into it, because I got a 320 right now. The new controllers reported to include a touchpad. <laughs> I hope they don't back. go touch screen. I really don't. No, it's supposed to be on the, the back, like the Vita. Ugh, that's worthless. I hate that stupid fucking back touchpad. <laughs> Uh, I feel like I shouldn't be touching it. There's also a reported control on the controllers reported share button, and uh, this function is unclear at this time. <laughs> what the freak would it sh- d- share? Uh, Maybe Facebook, yeah. oh, Twitter. That'd be so stupid. Tweeted out. I'm, I'm playing this game. 
That is retarded. Hey, we'll be famous as shit by then. Everybody's going to want to know what we're playing all the time. Yeah. <laughs> no. That's just dumb. Oh, Someone God. who is going to be pulling out of gaming products is Logitech. They said uh, they lost what? too much money making video game shit, so they're pulling out. Whatever, dude. Step they away. made the fucking most awesome gaming controller. So Which one? The one I use for my PC. It's a Logitech uh, oh. something, something, something. It came with, came with the programming software. That's what I fucking like about oh, it. Oh, that's software. what you use for awesome and everything? Awesome Knots automatically lets you use a controller, but for games that don't, yeah, that's what I use. My Logitech gaming software. It's fucking awesome. I love it. Their sales are down 14% with a net loss of $195 million. Wow. That's all I, oh, they're the ones that make like the crazy uh, keyboards and Yeah, they do a lot of Yeah, they make the fucking crazy shit, like $300 keyboards, $400 mouses, like, oh my god, they make stupid expensive shit. Yeah, like, look, here's one of their keyboards, that's not a keyboard. Well, there's other companies like Razer who make keyboards and mouses and shit. Yeah, but I think that's probably, like, all they make, so, I don't know. Yeah, like, Logitech makes a bunch of technology, these companies focus on gaming hardware, which, uh... I don't know. Do you think it's either. dumb or smart? Even they just lost that's a lot of losing money. money. Yeah, that's obviously. They have smart to make a change. Do. Yeah, I don't really care. I don't really buy a lot of Logitech stuff. Usually, like the stuff you see a lot is like just the cheap stuff. Like Headset. how expensive is their stuff? Well, they uh, have like two things. That's why I think they probably lost a lot of money. Probably going They're... on sale soon, so not that much. Yeah, they have like they have bargain headsets, bargain mouses, bargain just this like that. And then they're trying to go crazy. high, high, high end. Like, is there something wrong about that? So they got like the cheap, just of the cheap, and then they're trying to sell you this like expensive. They don't have nothing thing. in the middle. I'm not sure. I just I, that's what I see, what I remember, but meh. <laughs> And last but not least, as for gaming news, uh, we're going to talk about the THQ. uh, They finally out of business. They laid off everyone. And uh, they've sold all their games. So let's go through them. Homefront was acquired for uh, $500,000 by Crytek. I'm not too familiar with them. I think they made Crisis. Probably. Crytek. Uh, Metro was sold for $5.8 million to Koch Media. They also picked up Vol- Volition for $22.3 million. And uh, Koch Media is the, I believe, owner of Deep Silver who makes Dead Island. So they picked up the Metro series and they picked up the company that makes Saints Row. So some cool. Saints Row Dead Island mix-up. So, uh, Huckle- <laughs> with- they kill Pierce, bring in Sam B. You like it, right? That's pretty good. Oh, uh, God, no. <laughs> uh, what else do we have here? Sega picked up Relic. I guess that's a developer for $26.6 million. Ubisoft picked up South Park for $3.2 million and picked up Eve, uh, Ubisoft picked up THQ Montreal for $2.5 million. And uh, last, or not last but not least, but Evolve was picked up for $11 million by Take-Two. Which, I don't know who the fuck they are either. Is it bad that I'm out of touch? I don't know any of these people. Oh, uh, no. One no. of the more interesting ones, a huge series for THQ, WWE, the WWE series. Um, they owe WWE a shit ton of money. They owe they owed WWE $45 million. Holy shit, that's probably why they went fucking out of business. How they right there, wrestling ruined them? THQ. How, how? I don't know how they oh. own this much, but that's fucking crazy. It but is. it's probably to license all the usage of the different wrestlers. Wrestlers' names, oh, yeah. Man, it's just like basketball five, games, you know? pay for likeness and shit. Yeah, dude. If yeah. that was in the contract and they couldn't fucking say that, dude, that's fucking. That's right there why THQ went bankrupt, probably. So. It didn't help. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's fucking ridiculous. Say thank you, wrestling, for ruining THQ. Thank you, wrestling, for gangster. Yeah. No, thank you, THQ, for going out of business because now WWE has found a new home. They're going to take two, or not take two. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, no, two K, two K. 
Was it Take it 2K? Two? 2K. Hold on. Take I don't two. remember, because Take 2 makes the Rockstar games. Yeah, they own... 2K. Uh, 2K is the sports series, right? Yeah. Yeah. They're owned by Take, Take 2. fucking Borderlands, dude. No, Take 2 is the parent company of 2K. So it's all fucking connected somehow. Is it? Yeah. Oh, I'm fucking clusterfuck now. Anyway, <laughs> 2K or Take 2, whatever the fuck you want to call them, they own fucking Rockstar. They own uh, Gearbox, who made Borderlands. And now they're going to have WWE. That is fucking amazing. I don't know who the fuck's going to make this game, but... Yeah, I hope it doesn't put them out of business, too. <laughs> they're <laughs> some good hands. <laughs> Everyone keeps going out of business. Well, they picked up wrestling. a huge money pin and fucking Duke Nukem. Oh, my God. Well, that was a gearbox. I don't know if that's fucking 2K has anything to do with that, but... Uh, no, it got passed around to, like, 30 different developers until finally they were like, okay, we'll finish it, and then they put that shit out. Yeah. Turd sandwich, bro. <laughs> so, I think everything got a good home. I'm kind of surprised EA didn't put up more of a fight for, uh, for WWE, but... That's crazy. If they didn't put up a fight for it, you know, that that means there's something probably wrong with the whole Maybe series. they did. I don't know. Maybe TK or 2K is like, hey, step back. We got this. I mean, yeah, he's got, like, so much money. So much he's money. Dick. Yeah. No, they should have just cocksmacked him and took it, but... I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> oh, God. I'm kind of surprised about the Koch media taking a, up uh, Volition and shit. Yeah, for Saints Row. Eh, I don't care. That's weird. Whatever. So, THQ out of business. A bunch of, uh... Hopefully these games find good homes and, you know, make new games and shit. Mm. New Homefront 2 coming up. Uh, one of the games they were working on before they got shut down was Evolve. And, uh, Take Two picked up that, so... That's some stuff in the works, but... I didn't really have much respect for THQ as it was anyway, so. Uh, another game that uh, was kind of left out here was the South Park game. And um, documents sent to THQ by South Park Digital has filed a complaint that objects to the sale. It says that South Park Digital Studios has the right to acquire all elements of the game and shop them to the publisher themselves. THQ refutes the claim, citing the original contract with the studio, and uh, apparently they're hashing out their differences. So. <laughs> Great. This is probably going to end up with just, like, no South Park game. So. <laughs> That'd be fucking terrible, because this thing looks awesome. Yeah, I know. I want to try it so bad. Shit. Trailers alone just look amazing. If not, it's just South make Park, a fucking dude. special out of this. <laughs> if the game fails, just make a fucking one-hour special of this game. <laughs> I think that'd be up. Oh my god. I don't know. This is all horseshit. Any surprises here? Were you surprised that Ubisoft picked up? <clears throat> no, it was pretty much just a grab ass fest, dude. Whoever had the most money could get away with as much as they wanted, so. How come Piggy doesn't own everything? Because he didn't get the memo that THQ was selling stuff. I wanted the kill! God, Piggy, that would have been the best birthday gift ever. <laughs> Here, Kuda, here's giant Q from THQ. Don't worry. I'll be the U. Your U doesn't have to be alone anymore. It's got its Q. Let's move on to some movie TV show news. First up, a couple months ago, we reported that Jamie Foxx could be looking to play Electro in the Spider-Man 2 uh, movie that's coming out in a few months. And reportedly, there's another villain that might be added to that movie, and that is Rhino. Ugh. Played by Paul Giamatti. I never got Rhino. Like, ugh, why would you pick a Rhino? <laughs> well, it could fit with the whole lizard thing, like the mutant, or not the mutant, the fucking, just the whole changing, like the whole animal thing. They could do Scorpion really easily, Rhino, Doc Ock would be kind of dumb. I never got why they were all fucking animals, dude. It was fucking... They're people in animal costumes, but they're all based on animals. <laughs> or most of them. Uh, like a Venom. So... Venom is not a fucking animal. Thank God. Venom's from the snake, though. Fucking Carnage, dude. I want to see Carnage. God, so cool. I hope they fucking keep this series to where it could, like, 
Just make it a series. Like, stop. Oh, three movies. Oh, reboot. Let's like some continue some continuity. 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 Thank you. <laughs> what I think is gonna be weird is the new X Men movie coming out is gonna try and link all the fucking movies. Oh my gosh. But that's they're gonna be, be s- fucking awful because they're gonna be skipping around. It's gonna be terrible. I. Like, it sounds interesting, but just if you link up, like, the Wolverine movie to the fucking new X-Men movie that came out a couple years ago, the first class, to the fucking... Yeah, that's gonna, they're going to be skipping around a lot in that movie. No, just, like, there's some shit that just doesn't fit in. Well, in the uh, first class, they f- explained how the professor got in the wheelchair, so I got that. How they're friends and shit, and then, mm-hmm. like... But in the third movie, it showed them going to pick up Jean Grey, but then they're fighting in the first class, so they're going to have to, like, be friends in the next one, work together, get Jean Grey, bring her in, bring in Cyclops for, like, the second movie. It's it's going to be a fucking clusterfuck. I'd love to see them pull this shit off, but... <laughs> in my head, it's just... It's, it's not. It's not flowing. It's not <laughs> like I can't. They're professionals, gangster. They know what they're doing. Are you fucking kidding me? Did oh you my watch Spider Man three? Did you? Yes. You can't fucking tell me they're professionals. No, I love Spider Man three. What the fuck? You're stupid. Had toe for Grace, dude. He's fucking awesome. <laughs> He's the guy that played Venom, right? Yeah. Fucking awful. <laughs> fucking incredibly <laughs> awful. Yeah, he was not a very good Venom. Uh, or the He's guy not intimidating who... at all. Venom's supposed to be yeah. intimidating. Like the Venom. He was a pushover. The... Okay, let's. He was an okay Venom, but as Eddie Brock? Nah. That's what I mean. Yeah, the Eddie Brock was just totally not not even close. My he was ass. a dick. That was about it, but. Yeah. I can tell you this. At least in the movie, they didn't have. Dr. Octopus take over Spider-Man's body, and Spider-Man, you know, Octopus' body, and then he dies, and Dr. Octopus is the new Spider-Man, or at least that didn't happen. I read the first issue, the new one, Superior Spider-Man, and, um, well, I didn't really look at it, but I just, like, glanced through the pages because I wanted to see what the fuck are they gonna do. How are you gonna salvage that fucking storyline? And it ends with, um, Dr. Octopus beating up on some villain, he's gonna go in for the death blow... He stops. Why does he stop? Peter Parker is in the body consciously. He's still alive. Oh my god. Fucking They're already going to fucking... <laughs> yeah, and then it's going to be like a, they're going to be a split personality and then probably Peter Parker is eventually going to take it over. That's what I th- originally thought, yeah. Oh my god, it's so stupid. <laughs> fucking terrible. Um, so yeah. Something not terrible, something I'm kind of interested in. Uh, Zombieland is being developed as an original series by Amazon.com. According to Broadcast Now, originally rumored to be heading the Fox, the series will apparently eschew ins- the traditional broadcast model altogether by streaming on Amazon's instant video service. Uh, io9.com recently obtained some casting sheets from the show, which called for the return of the movie's four major characters, Tallahassee, Columbus, Wichita, and Little Rock, Plus two newcomers, Fred and Ainsley. Uh, the latter pair are described as two office co-workers at the start of the zombie apocalypse, obviously complaining about the problems with their iPhones and getting the wrong order at Starbucks. <laughs> so wait, are you going to have to pay to watch all these? You could probably find other means to watch this. But I know, but I mean, is it like legit? Do I have to pay to watch these? Cause... I think so. I think mentioning uh, pay to watch YouTube. What? That's rumored. But yeah, we'll, we'll we'll let that fold out a little more before yeah. we talk about it. <laughs> Touch on that. Um, but Zombie Land TV show could be great. I mean, it's just more zombies, which you know I haven't gotten sick of them yet. So, and it's gonna be like a comedy. It's gonna be. I hope it's like Wilfred, kind of with zombies. Wilfred's so good. I can't wait till next season. Wilfred's fucking awful. This last season. You didn't fucking watch any of it. Fuck you. It was great, dude. Beginning episodes, they were terrible. Oh my god, no. They were all fucking good as shit, dude. Terrible. <clears throat> Trying to find out what Wilfred is. I don't know. It's fucking it's good as shit, dude. Yeah. It's, total mind, it's total mind fucking. I love it. So, so I don't know if they're going to bring the actual like actors. I think like... Who's the one chick? Emma Stone? Yeah. 
she's probably too mainstream for this shit now. So is the I other. Don't know. Depends on how much they're paying them. TV pays a lot more than movies does in the long run. So yeah, if you yeah, do like individual wrong. series. Yeah. That's why Charlie Sheen and fucking Ashton Kutcher, they got all that shit done with like two and a half men, dude, because they got paid fucking crazy. So uh, who are the other? Who is the guy? What guy? Which guy? It's Tallahassee and. I don't remember the names of the Don't characters, know. the actors, dude. Yeah, but the know. older guy, he'll probably do it. The younger. Mm-hmm. Guy, no. I have no fucking clue. I think they're gonna have to recast him, but it'd be interesting. So. Yeah. Um, last but not least, according to LatinoReview.com, the final members of the on <laughs> Justice League movie are Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman, Flash, and Green Lantern. So like Aquaman. No Aquaman, but there are no Wonder Twins. There are room for fucking cameos. They've said there's possible cameo. Cameo. What's the little monkey fuck's name? Bleep, Gleep. What? The Wonder Twins monkey, dude. Gleep, oh, glop. Bloop. Shit about the Wonder Twins. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. But uh, a couple things, uh, you know, are on the line for this movie to go through. So, BatmanOnFilm.com says it's heard that Warner Brothers' Batman reboot won't be released until 2017 at the earliest. And the real, the real issue is uh, Justice League of America, the movie, which will reportedly serve as the introduction of this new post-Nolan Batman. If it flops, it may spell big trouble for Warner Brothers' plans for this incarnation of all these characters also the new superman movie coming out uh if that doesn't do well justice league doesn't look too good either so i think they just need to stop i'm tired of these like just copycat movies like i know just lee and avengers were always separate but the whole idea of like doing a movie and then stringing a bunch of other movies together is just I want some original fucking ideas, dude. I'm trying. I'm tired of seeing all this copycat shit on TV. There's like 30 million pawn sh- store shows now. Mm-hmm. Like, Storage yeah. wars, redneck all shows. These, yeah, all these different auction shows. I'm just like, I'm flipping through the channels, and I'm just like, Same there's thing. no, there's no fucking original ideas left. I'm just like, let's do something else, please, before I fucking. As soon as one <clears throat> one thing comes out, if it does well, it, there's like 20 of them. Yeah, it's just it's pissing me off, dude. It wasn't like that like 10 years ago. Now it's just like fucking. Ten years ago? Hmm. Yeah, I mean, the people did it, yeah, more, but, but did you see 30 of the same show? No, shit. It's, it's like, all this reality TV shit. I guess, dude, it's the easy. Fu- American cheap. Idol, X Factor, fucking bunch of other spinoffs off that, the Pawn Stars, like you said. Oh, hell yeah, dude, it's fucking driving me. Hardcore Pawn. <laughs> yeah, there's Hardcore Pawn, now there's Chicago. And pawn Chops. Flipping through some pawn other channels. Pawn Wars. Yeah, I saw some other random show I'd never heard of before, and it said pawn in it. And I was Hold just on, like, I, I got my know. TV on right now. Let's see how many pawns I can find. How many right. Law and Orders are there? You know, but Law that's and Order special series. Though. Yeah, that, they're they intertwine. That's not competitive channels trying to come up with TV shows, right? I there's guess. Just, different branches in the show. Yeah, there's just like thirty different auction shows, fucking, and there's like a bunch of other ones now. It's like the American History shows where they trying to like go around the country finding shit. Why are you ragging on my superheroes? What the fuck? I'm just... It's, I need an original idea, dude. And they're trying to have all this backup. Like, you know, if this doesn't do well, then all our series and just blah, blah, blah. <sighs> Stop trying to be Marvel. All right, DC? It's not gonna... It's not gonna fly, yo. When it comes to movies, they can't touch Marvel. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. They just need to stick with what they're good at with, you know? Make another Superman game. Because it's obvious. Whoa! <laughs> you need to <laughs> chill, bro. Make more Batman shit. Batman uh, shit is always done good. The movies do good, and the games are amazing. Arkham City, Arkham Asylum, I'm looking at you. Jeez, I'm actually looking at them. They're right in front of me. <laughs> oh, God. So that's it for uh, all the news regarding stuff. Uh, so that was What's Kraken 48. Come back next time, What's Kraken 49, if you can figure that one out uh, <laughs> uh we'll have more of the same stuff more video games news hopefully no one else sucks on their tampon and um, yeah, really use crap like, I hate talking about copycat shit like i swear to god there's probably thirty thousand fucking eating tampon videos on youtube now. oh they're so, like 
our <laughs> eating contest now. <laughs> Damn. How many can you down? Oh, Probably. God. It's like the cinnamon challenge. I ate three bloody field tampons. One came from an asshole. Oh, oh yeah, that's great. That's fucking <laughs> you. Oh, I can top it. <laughs> so, thanks for watching. Catch us next time. Keep up with everything on the channel. Uh, lots of good new stuff coming out. And uh, that's about it. So, hope you guys enjoyed the show. Catch us next time. Everyone say goodbye in a different language. Goodbye. Sayonara. Oh, very good, very good. <laughs> Peace out. <laughs>